Will Greenwald, what is your favorite Insomniac Games game? Is it Sunset Overdrive? Is it Marvel's Spider-Man out today on PlayStation 4? Or is it Spyro the Dragon? I'm going to say Sly Cooper, but to be fair, I also keep mixing up that's Insomniac and Sucker that, Punch. That's Sucker Punch. Right, okay, I mix them up. But, you know, still right. Sly Cooper. So, so yeah, Spyro the Dragon, uh, he, he, there's that remake coming out, the Reignited Trilogy. Uh, it was going to come out this month, but it got pushed back to November. Um, but, you know, I guess to make up for it, yeah. uh, here we got some good September Spyro content. And again, Insomniac, amazing game of the freaking... Uh, oh, yeah, the vacuum's <laughs> going on here, too. Uh, you know, Spider-Man's out today, so of course we're playing Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, so also we'll be eating the Spyro cake. Um, it's a cake with Spyro on it from our friends at Activision. Uh, that game looks kind of neat. I played it a little bit. Yeah, it's, um, it's Spyro. Yeah, it's better than Crash yeah. Bandicoot. Like, the, the most I've seen about that is, like, hey, it's Spyro and also... Yeah, the weird-looking fawn character. Hey, here's new furry bait. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to be eating this. This is too much cake for us. So, people from the Oxford Con come, come in and out uh, to eat this cake while we do uh, the thing we're, we normally here like, on Friday. Is the base thing, like, is that... Uh, is that also like chocolate or fondant? Or it's all like It's like fondant, and then I don't know what kind of cake flavor to even cut it's into like it yet. Scored. This, this is an um, impressive cake. Yeah, so we're going to, you know, here and our, our, our co workers are going to dig into this, but uh, but we're actually here to do is play Dragon Quest Eleven. Yep. It's since Friday on geek.com. I'm Jordan Miner. I didn't say that yet. Um, and this is uh, Dragon Quest Eleven. And as you can see, these are the adventures of Sword Goku. Yeah. I just started the game. I'm level three. I beat like the first little mini dungeon of just, hey, here, fight some slimes, and then the plot might start soon. Right, so any questions, leave them in the comments on Facebook or on yeah. Twitch. Uh, so before we get to that, it's, uh, come get this cake. People want this cake. Can we take a minute to just look at... Cake? Who wants this cake? You got this knife. <laughs> Jeff, Wil Jeff Wilson, cut this cake. Uh, you, you, need to, you need to kill the dragon first. Is right. dragon? Yeah, kill the dragon first. Oh, there's like a stick in it or something. Oh, <laughs> boy. Wow. 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 Yeah. Now it's a Silent Hill cake. Or a Dark Souls. It could, that could totally be just a cartoon God, gaping dragon. This is dragon. so much sugar. That is oh so erotic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's very unappealing. Like I said. Uh, can I get a cut, cut up some of the base? You can get whatever you want, man. You can have whatever you like. <laughs> it's almost it's like too high. Like a... Yeah. It's a big ass cake. You cut until you hear screaming, like all cake. Isn't we don't have to just make a mess? It doesn't matter. You do it wedding style. Take his hand too and you go down. No, especially <laughs> because I know who watches. I know people. I know who watches the stream who may not be super down with that. <laughs> um, and then it's almost out. Hey, guy, what kind of cake we got here? Oh, yeah, chocolate. Oh, yeah, and maybe like. Some kind of like berry sort of frosting in the yeah. middle there. Maybe. Cool. Could is it, you know black forest cake? I guess would make sense. Like Spyro has forests. I don't know maybe. Spyro. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. This is like real ass cake. Yeah. yeah. I'm just gonna <laughs> get pieces of cake. Oh wow. That oh, there's so much sugar in this. Whoa. Happy twentieth anniversary to Spyro. He's got a ton of fun. This is killing me because I cut sugar like mostly out of my diet, and it's like. This it's been working, but this is like. Mm. This is your final test. Yeah. Get some of this cake, Barrett. I'm getting in there. So. Yeah. The blue stuff is way too strong. But once you get the low back, it's actually pretty. What's, good cake. what's the actual cake? Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of cake. <laughs> That's, a, <laughs> That's a big there piece of cake. Are we live? Yes. Well, we are extremely live. Look <laughs> 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 for the dragon's head. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll want to have that. Oh, right. Yeah, get some of this cake. I mean, unless you don't bother your teeth at all. So let's look at this video game rabbi. Yeah, this so Dragon Quest 11. This like Flux Capacitor Priest. So Dragon Quest, obviously, you know, is a huge... It's like the kind of er JRPG, right? Pretty much, The yeah. first one back on NES? Like, it's Square Enix. Uh, it was Enix big joint. before it was, Square yeah. Enix. Yeah. But now it's all of that. So, like, Square Enix has, like, Final Fantasy, where like, we're, we'll do whatever and take forever to like, actually make anything new. And then Dragon Quest is, we're going to do the same damn thing again and again and again, and you're going to love it. Slime. So like, pretty much, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like this one has a lot more heat around, cause, so it's huge in Japan. It's like, yep. it's, like, the biggest thing ever. But I feel like this one has a lot more heat for a Western release than usual for this franchise. Because, um, I mean, it's... A very new game, and like it, it feels like a generational jump, kind of like Monster Hunter World was. Okay, to the yeah, that's Monster a good Hunter games. Yeah, well, also because it's on PC for the first right. time, right? Yeah. 
Where so like, the first time yeah. In the West. Like, were old ones on PC in Japan? Oh well, the MMO. Oh yeah, yeah. Dragon oh. Quest X never actually came out here. Yeah. Uh, you yeah, see, get some of this cake. Yeah, yeah. This is part of the bit. Get some cake. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Gene. Look at how picturesque this is. That's really nice looking. Is this? Yeah. yeah it looks pretty. It doesn't look that edible. But the cake part's good. I hear. I hear the cake part's actually good. Just don't get. Yeah. Do you have any takes on Spyro the Dragon? Much more. I don't know what that is. Okay. Thank you. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to do here, so I'm just going to run around until maybe something happens. It's all fun then. Thank you. Yeah. So what's your favorite cake? Cake? Uh, cookie cake is real good. It was ice cream cake for a long time, but cookie cake is great. Because something about cookie cake, it's not like just cookie tech. It's something, there's something different about the kind of texture that's more than just a big cookie that I really like. I can kind of see that though. Like, I do appreciate though that the proper ice cream cake has like the cookie like crumble stuff between the layers. That's really good. Yeah, I think it's very good. Because if it was just like a block of ice cream, no one would care. That would just suck. Yeah. Yeah, cookie cake has a lot. I mean, ice cream does have more complex, you know, but, but um, is that a question or is the seat just out? Oh, actually, yeah. We have a cake question, oh, which sure. was, yeah. what's better, fondant or buttercream? Buttercream's not like a real thing you eat, right? Like, yeah. You're not really meant to eat fondant. Oh, no, that's yeah. not the only line that they're saying that. We have that for our wedding day. But, repeat, but it was, it was, is it more for aesthetics? No, it's good. Okay, but still, I still, I still. But we've like also seen the weird things that you put on social media of like the seventies cuisine. So okay. I don't trust you for any kind yeah. of food. What was your name? Emily. Emily? Help yourself. Okay. <laughs> 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 I think he's just kind of starting out that long ago, right? <laughs> you haven't been there for here very no, long. Okay. Really okay. <laughs> just beware, we're being watched by dozens of people. Yeah. Uh, we get like some, you know. It's, I mean, I yeah. it Maybe so less. Yeah. Yeah. My friend. Is Okay, I, I generally have no idea what I'm supposed to do, I forget, <laughs> so, because I just, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean, this just came out, like, this week, right? Yeah, just came out, I played it for, like, an hour, and that's it, so just starting off, uh, very much, I'm still weirded out by how good this game looks as a Dragon Quest game, because for years and years, you just expect the most basic-ass, here's a Kira Toriyama art, the same thing since, like, 1988. Yeah. So, what do you do? But I think that's a good perspective, because I think a lot of people, again, because of the heat around this, yeah. I think a lot of people, are, this is going to be the first Dragon Quest they played ever, or maybe since, like, 8 on PS2. Again, kind of like Monster Hunter World. Yeah. So... Yep, Who has the more passionate base, though, Monster Hunter or Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest is mm -hmm. way less insufferable, because... Um, and as much as I don't like JRPGs, they're, they're at least playable. I'm refusing know? to engage here. Um, and there's a, there's, a, there's a sort of appeal to me, like just because of how old Dragon Quest is and how much that battle system sort of remains the same. Mm -hmm. There's a kind of quaintness to it that you kind of grok with. Like it's not. It's a big part of video game history. Yeah, but it's not. It's just not so up its own ass. But it's like it's systems and stuff the way that other JRPGs are. I feel like because yeah, other JRPGs. Well, it's, it's because there are like no systems in Dragon Quest. It's right. just like the most basic. Like it's barely changed. There's some tweaks, but it's so the same type thing. But I like that. Like I feel like other JRPGs, in their effort to be different from Dragon Quest, will just add in all these bullshit systems that are like not fun. Like yeah. Final yeah. We or got a question. Like Z Xenoblade sometimes. Mm -hmm. Question. Are the graphics on PS4 uh, equivalent to this? Probably. We haven't played the PS4 version, but yeah, like I, I don't really see how it would be any worse or better because this is. It looks good, but it's not like nuts. Also, because this, I've heard that this Western release has some graphical improvements, even compared to the Japanese release from last year. Yeah, because so. again, from last year, yeah. and also PC. But, they, but, but yeah. yeah, I mean the fact that they took the time to do that. Yeah. Um, so. Plus, you know, so much of this Jeff, do you just want to just be on the stream? If you're going to keep talking? <laughs> so, much of this, so much of the graphics are based on Toriyama's art style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so much of it is very much stylized and, and it has that kind of, you know, Toriyama feel mm -hmm. that... Also, look at this not their mom who has the tiny eyes for a huge face. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's cartoon. Like, it's I'm not very weird. I'm going to play this on PC and suddenly have particle effects. Hey, plot item. No, but some of the lighting in the overworld I thought was kind of like really nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Now that now you call your guy a sword Goku, but that to me is way more of a Trunks. I know. Now, granted, Trunks is just a sword Goku when you want to get right down to it. I put that too, but I put the name in like before it showed me that the character was this, and also Trunks is already you know, like you said, sword some dude. That's true. Oh, we should mention too, uh, breaking news that the cake was from a place called A Love for Cakes here in New York. So this cake looks good for, to you. Right. Uh, hit up A Love for Cakes, and if you're in New York, so. There's that. I love just the horror of Headless Spyro just being there. Yeah, but what, I mean, it's just, her, have you seen Hereditary? No. 
Okay. Well, I should, though, that's, right? That's a very funny joke if you'd seen Hereditary. <laughs> Speaking of which, oh, read quest- Movie Bob's reviews on geek.com. <laughs> yeah, question. Can you pet dogs in the game? I would assume so. Let's find out. Have you encountered a slime yet? That's why yes, I, I have. Okay. Because this is a Dragon Quest game and I've played it for more than five minutes. Of course, I've encountered okay, so a slime. Okay, yeah, so what's the time What's the time to slime? Five minutes. Okay. Like, just straight up, t- here's the slime. That's a pretty good TTS. Um, Sword Goku. And there's, there's some plot happening, but it's a Dragon Quest game, so I don't actually care. Uh... So now it's nighttime, and basically I went to this little, like, cave dungeon thing to do a coming-of-age ritual. Yeah. And it happened, and great, and then a mark on his hand glowed, and everyone's like, oh, something's happening, and it's just dumb JRPG. It's, it's the same thing. It's <laughs> traditional. Yeah. But it seems, but, like, it's a traditional thing, but now with this is very... Also traditional, smashing shit in your house. Uh, but very, you know, very much AAA production value. Oh, yeah. Um... Now, this is also, on Japan at least, was also a 3DS game. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, where it was like, it was... And like the bottom screen was like the like an almost old school Dragon Quest yeah, map, right? Yeah, that's what they did the map. Um, so, yeah, too bad, I mean... So I, I guess what you're saying is they should put this on Switch. Well, they are putting it on Switch. Well, they um, should. And the, uh, the word on the street is that during TGS this month, they will detail that more. Um, but they, have, yeah, they announced it for Switch back when it was the NX. Hmm. Yo, know, honestly, now that... I realize or remember this coming on Switch. I kind of don't want to play this now and just wait for the Switch version. <laughs> Do you want to play Into the Breach instead? Um, <laughs> into the Rift? Wait, which is it? Into the Breach. Oh, right, yeah. Um, let breach, me, Rift, let me ask, Is this, this question about Cake or about Dragon Quest? If this is about know, Dragon Quest. Okay, if people want to know about Dragon Quest, we, should keep, we shouldn't keep. We bait and switch them. <laughs> uh, what's the question? It's So for someone who's not familiar with Dragon Quest, is this closer to Monster Hunter or Zelda? Ooh. It's close to Final Fantasy, like old school. It's just yeah. it's turn-based. It is, uh, I'd say it's kind of far from both, just because it's not yeah. action-based. It's just turn-based RPG, like Final oh, Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, because stand directly in front of the camera when you're doing this. That's just hilarious. The look. Uh, no, because you don't even level up in either. You, you don't level up in Monster Hunter, right? No, no. It's just about the gear. you would level up like the equipment, but that's it. Yeah, Monster Hunter and Zelda are RPGs. Yep. So we're yeah, this yeah. I mean, it's close to Pokemon even. Mm. Than, yeah, definitely. Um, than any of either of those. So and also there's something called the Luminary, who I guess is maybe the god in this game. Which no, it's Bayonetta's dad. With that too. Well, either way, there's a good chance he'll be the final boss. Um. And did you play Dragon Quest Builders? I did not, though you did. Yeah, what did you think about of, it? There is a lot of kind of heat around that game, dude. That game was pretty neat. Um, it was, it was a very much, it was, it was, it was a fuse between Dragon Quest and Minecraft, mm-hmm. and those. It's to me that sounds like a non sequitur, right? It does. But it ends up like the JRPG stuff ends up adding a nice kind of, you know, not super rigid, but it's just not mm-hmm. as much direction and structure for what I find. In Minecraft. Oh no, my anime childhood friend is sad and running away for some reason that I wasn't paying attention to. The darkness. This is anime. My ambition. But I thought that the Dragon Quest stuff Kyrie. Was, was a good kind of just a little bit of structure and direction for um, yeah, for Minecraft gameplay, which to me can be kind of aimless in a way that I find just not interesting after a while. You know, there, Minecraft is two very different games when you get down to it. It is build whatever, do dumb crap, slash here's an adventure thing which isn't nearly as good. I mean, the third game is also not just Twitter feed. That too. That's, that's, that's the game everyone loses. <laughs> That's, that's the cube version of Minecraft. Of just yeah. like, you know, get to the bottom of his Twitter feed, you get to start the next Minecraft. Oh, you're talking about curiosity, what's inside the cube. cube. Right, yeah. Okay, I thought you were talking about cube as a cube <coughs> and cube two hypercube. We have a question. Is it about Dragon Quest or Cake? Neither. Um, okay. What is Peter Molyneux doing now? Oh, um, I mean... the. He's gotten, like, kind of quiet and, I guess, making some mobile games, kind of? Yeah, like, I mean, because that's what he did, Curiosity, then there was that Goddess <coughs> thing, and that was a big thing. Yep. Um, I think he just kind of went away, because they got rid of... There's, I think they're just done with all... I mean, he was he, he had left the company anyway, but I think they're just done with all the Fable stuff. Yeah. What if Finding um, Him is the new game? I mean, maybe he just stopped being able to swindle people out of money yeah. after, like, the 13th time. Oh, hey, Quest. Look, quest. Th- take on a quest. quest over here. Yeah, Quest. <coughs> And question. Ooh, Quest cool. and question. All right, cool. What's your take on Enter the Dragon? Enter the Dragon? The movie? Yeah. With, um, this, that's the Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee and uh, Jim Kelly, right? Yeah. Yeah. I love seeing Kung Fu Black People. Fuck. The Last Dragon. Classic. Yeah. Speaking of Sorry to Bother You. <laughs> um, There's 
So okay, so just 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 gonna be just a, a, a stream about just dragons in general. Sure. Yeah. Speaking of dragons, Iron Fist season two, baby. That's out today on Netflix.com. I saw that. I I saw Iron Fist on my Netflix feed, and I was and it was like, is it telling me to watch it again? Because I'm just gonna like maybe God, watch the rest of here, Disenchantment. Here are ten new episodes of Iron Fist for your enjoyment. Just what I wanted. I mean, I watched that first season because I'm an idiot. The one thing I did like Same. That, that the guy's son was so much just Donald Trump Jr. to me. Like, even if the dad wasn't that much Trump, like, his son is such a Trump Jr. looking guy, looking, acting guy. It's, yeah. Also, I took a quest, and I don't know what that quest was, but whatever. Hey, party talk. There's no one in the party. Good. All right. Uh... Yeah, I saw uh, Cloak and Dagger, which was definitely better than Iron Fist. Yeah, but there are no dragons in it. So and it's, it's not yeah. relevant. Figuratively, you know, there's, there's always, you know, there's that dragon racism. Uh, question. Can you eat cake in Dragon Quest? I, I, the food, the, re the way the food's rendered in this game is also something I've heard as a selling point. That's like really nice looking food. I guess ever since Final Fantasy XV, like they're like, that's how we get people to care about our huge JRPGs and just have really banging looking food. That's, uh, yeah, that's the Vanillaware game, isn't it? What? Just have awesome looking food. It's like the you know, well, Miyazaki art, Vanillaware, like oh, Dragon oh. Crown. Another Dragon game, hey. Yeah, but you're talking Dragon's about Battle Chef, right? No, I'm talking about Dragon's Crown. Oh, okay. Because, like, you know, if you want good food uh, in a game, like, good-looking food in a game, the stuff Vanillaware does is pornographic. You're right, yeah. I mean, yes, beyond the food also. Yeah, I found that guy's kid's feather, which was on a roof for some reason. Now, you like JRPGs more than I do. I do. Are you, now, are you then, how do you feel about Dragon Quest's relative simplicity, though? I are find it oddly soothing. Like, okay. Like, this is kind of like... The weak mint tea of like RPGs. Okay. Like you know, I, I like you know a nice chai. Let's call that Shin Megami Tensei. Mm -hmm. I like you know, nice Final Fantasy of uh, you know whatever you know nice black tea maybe with some ginger. Okay. And then sometimes you just want something like weak and pleasant, like you know, a little bit of sweetener, some mint. That's Dragon Quest. Okay. Um, Another question about tea or dragons. What's the character creation like here? Like, how much freedom did you have to make this person? I entered the name. That's it. Like this, this uh, trunks ass looking dude is just who I was given. Uh, I don't actually know if probably the uh, MMO, but I don't think any like other Dragon Quest game uh, really let you create your own character. Yeah, because I mean they're getting a character Toriyama to these characters, so they want to yep. use his characters that he gives you. You know. Um, but yeah, I look at Dragon Quest like the old ones. I'd be like, oh, there's a, there's a reason. Yeah, that, that that RPG stuff was able to become kind of Facebook phone casual game so yep. easily because it is kind of like a passive game. Sometimes. Yeah. So I think I need to go up to Heliodor. It looks like a place to go to. Hmm. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but it's Dragon Quest, so like you can kind of just yeah. Come like I'm gonna on, keep playing this because it's this journey with us. pleasant ish. Yeah. yeah. And also this jumping, that's new. I that's that already makes it better than Zelda. Sure. Mm. <laughs> Except Link's Awakening or Breath of the Wild, which are the two best Zeldas. Sure. They are the two best Zeldas. It's Breath of the Wild, Link's Awakening. Link Between Worlds is still my favorite. That's, that's a good one. Um, uh, oh, like, hey, look, I need to... like renting <laughs> items. I like to own yeah. shit. If I can't own shit in real life, I want to own shit in a video game, you that, know? Well, yeah, that's true. That's also... That's kind of why this... Why isn't The Sims come back, like, super hard of an entire generation of people who can at least pretend they own homes? I don't know, because they ruined SimCity with all that DRM. Yeah, good point. They did with Sims 4, too. No. But, There's okay. a lot of expansions for some four, at least. So I'm the reincarnated luminary, the hero, god, divine being who will save the world slash save the world from darkness because there literally is the darkness in this game, too, because it's a JRPG. There was that Dragon Quest Dynasty Warriors game, too. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, Dragon yeah. Quest Heroes. Yeah. That was, wasn't bad, I, as I remember, <laughs> as maybe. Far, as far as those go, I sure. Didn't play, yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird that, like, the Zelda one is still the best of the entire meta-series slash genre of, like, mm. you know, a lot of people swear by Samurai uh, War Dynasty Warriors 8, but it's like, I don't know or care, so I'm still going to say Hyrule Warriors is I the mean, best. I mean, that makes sense that they, they, they want to bring their A game to that, you know? It's like, oh, we yeah. got to, like, kind of clean up rack a little bit. Also, Nintendo's looking mm. at us, so. Question. Hey, horse. Would a wise fan love Dragon Quest? Oh, Ease. That's what he's trying to oh, say. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say yes. Oh, you haven't played Ease 8 the Lacrimosa of Dana? <laughs> That's the name of that game. 
This is the series that you <laughs> that you go. I want kind of a Dragon Quest experience, but I want to be more of a weeb while just having the same genre. Okay. So yeah, so I guess I also want to play like the same dude through like yeah. eight different adventures of. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, I play like two Yeah, games. you're right. Yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. Eight old. Question. I just feel like there should be a company that just renames and repackages JRPGs. I would play so many more so of them you, if they weren't that's called that's like. That's Nichi America. No, you want a Haim Saban, but for <laughs> well, JRPGs. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. He re edits all the footage. I want Final like, Fantasy Deca Ranger. Right, because yeah. I'm not going to play like Tales of Versaria, which I think is an actual name of yeah, one. You're not going to play. It's Vesperia or Berseria. There are two games. <laughs> Or what is it? What's it? Eternal Sonata? Is that one? Where that's the that's the one, one where you're playing you're, a Chopin. Chopin in his dying fever dream. Yeah. Why not put that? Why not? Why not make Chopin's dying fever dream the name of the game? I don't know. I think it's fucked up to have a video game where you're playing as a real person and that real person's name isn't in the title. I think that's to be a crime. <laughs> and that real person's name is canonically dying from like pneumonia in yeah. the game. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we have a post on that. I think. Actually. Yeah. I think it's a game of the year. <laughs> Eternal Sonata. Yeah. We're still doing that bit. What, Game of the Year? Yeah. Oh, not every week, but sometimes, yeah. Because uh, I'm not saying this will be a Game of the Year, but... I mean, we have a full review of this on the site. Yeah. Um, Tony played it, yeah. And hey, look, I'm fighting two slimes and whatever what the trying? hell that thing on the right is. It's a modern JRPG classic, says Geek.com's Tony Polanco. Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of the two big games that Tony reviewed for this week. He reviewed this. Yeah, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Read He's his been... review and tips and tricks and all that. He's been big on the Spider-Man. Yeah. No, did you probably play Spider-Man? Uh, no. Okay. I play a little bit of it. Um, so if people do have some requests for that, I could answer yeah. as much as I can based on like the, you know. We just don't have the game right now. Like 20 minutes I played of it, so. Come That's back. okay because I'm fighting a needler and that needler is defeated. Question. What kind of system requirements are this? Like, cause, uh, what are we, and I guess can you just explain what we're playing this on? Um, yeah. We're playing it on a PC. This is our Razer Blade Pro uh, test notebook. We use it for testing TVs and streaming games and a bunch of other, it's also a VR rig, so, you know, it's a useful computer. Uh, I think this has a 10, 1080, like a 1080 mobile or something. Uh, but, but, I mean, probably Bob, but uh, yeah. knows that, but. Um, but it seems like it's being pretty smooth. I mean, if it runs on PS4, oh, yeah. or if it runs on a 3DS. Yeah, that's so. important. So I'm, again, just not paying attention to what I'm supposed to do because this is so old school JRP. I just kicked the slimes with my horse. Yeah, get that slime. <laughs> also, I can have first person view. That's really good. Yeah. That's a really weird way to look at slime. Like, it's like too documentary. <laughs> Werner Herzog slime. Mm. Okay, so we're going to have a battle here. And Guire, the Wrath of Slime. So it's still turn-based. Like, it's still, yeah. yeah. But weirdly enough, like, when it is your turn, you can actually move around so you can get behind okay, him. Okay, this so is the thing about JRPGs that weirds me out, is yeah. when they do that kind of stuff. But they, it's still turn-based and menu-based. Yeah, so it's like, it feels, it, it throws me off. Yeah. We're like, I've been playing Because Tails does that, but it's a lot more, like, almost rhythm-based, of doing combos of, uh, of like, different art attacks. So yeah. th this is just... <laughs> Do the moves. Yeah, every time they try to like abstract out what counts as a turn or not, it just mm -hmm. confuses me. Like I've been playing Valkyria Chronicles 4, the demo. Yeah. It's a cool game. But like the fact that's like when you, you have freedom of running, but you're also like, like you you're running down, you've like a limit out you can run in a turn. Yeah. And then but you, and then you're still aiming, but then it's also still a dice roll. Like or like you know, or like fallout kind of bugging me or something. Like any any kind of anytime they're they're kinda like trying to split the difference between like just like what you see what was what you get. Yeah. Actions and then also RPG number stuff. I get confused. I okay, wish, and which was just one or the other. Look at these pickle boys. Those some good pickle boys. Gonna, some pickle ricks, as it were. The, Time to go on Reddit.com. Look, look at them. The, oh wait, I wanted to get. You, yeah, <laughs> cruel cumber. <laughs> Whoa, that's another staple of at least American versions of Dragon Quest. Of the localization team has some pun ass names. God, going on. I wish Cruel Cumber was a Pokemon instead of a Dragon Quest enemy so that people could actually give a shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's such a good name. Yeah, you're not Cruel wrong. Cruel Cumber? <laughs> wow, King K. Rule Cumber. Oh, put him in Smash. Yeah. In fact, put whoever the hell this dude is. Put Sword Goku in Smash. Yeah. Just put Slime in Let Smash. Me try to just, I'm going to follow this guy and watch him skip. Turn around. Come on. Yeah, this is Turn weird. around. <laughs> Someone please make a gif of this. Yeah. It's yeah. like this is this is this could be as good as Pokemon Snap. Just like standing here doing this. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a good, it's a good like little photo mode though. Yeah. And I'm gonna fight another cr a group of enemies, so a cruel cumber and a slime. Like I love photo mode. It just feels like, like yeah, we made a really nice looking game. Like here it is. Yeah. Yeah, we spent we spent all these thousands of man hours. And look at this background. Like that's that's a good skybox. That's a nice looking skybox. And it still looks like Dragon Quest to me. It yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't look like oh we just made a kind of generic fantasy open world. I mean that is Dragon Quest. No, but it doesn't look like you know it doesn't look like. They're trying to chase. It doesn't look like they're like chasing some other trend. <laughs> they're not chasing it because they set the trend in like the late eighties. Right, but sometimes that kind of bites people. Sometimes that that, that loops back around and that it makes the original feel generic. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like can it, say they, that they kind of lost it. But I think this still has like a sense of identity to me visually. Yeah, it does. I, yeah. I don't think it's quite as much identity as like, you know, maybe uh, eight and like you know, like four through eight. Those Dragon sure. Quest where I mean, it's yeah. just straight up like the most Toriyama looking. Right, but like. In terms of making making a success, making a JRP making a, a blockbuster JRPG in this day and age, yeah, um, that you know, like, could you imagine if this had like instead of like three D, not quite so cel shaded, if they went like the full Dragon Ball Fighters look and this, it was the most Toriyama looking game? Uh, yeah, I mean, I suspect that, that game only works because you're viewing it at very specific angles, right? Like yes. very very yeah. directed angles. Well, it's kind of like Link Between Worlds, where like it's rendered that Link is basically smooth criminaling the entire game. Yeah. So I don't know if that would work in a game where you, you know you get to see all. We have a question. Okay. What's the best game with a horse? Best game with a horse? Metal Gear Solid Five. I was gonna, yeah, that's that's the first answer. I mean, what was that that horse? You ever played that 3DS game? It's like a horse racing poker game or something. Uh, oh yeah, pocket, uh, pocket jockey. Pocket jockey. Uh, uh, Clop. The Clop. The horse yeah. version of Clop. That's a good. No, so we're saying best game with a horse or best horse based game. Mm. I feel like those are two different answers. There's like a whole sort of horse arcade scene in Japan. Oh, yeah. Um, the horse racing stuff. No, the best horse game is that HBO show about the horses that they had to cancel because too many horses died. Glow? No, Luck. Oh, okay. Uh, it was Dustin Hoffman. I was talking about it with Jim last week. Or was it this week? It might have been this week. Um, Dustin Hoffman's still alive, right? Yeah, he's just saying gross shit. Okay. Yeah. Question. What game would be better that th if it was turn-based, but it isn't? Ooh. Uh, that's a very good question. It is a good question. Uh, so what's a game with bad real-time combat? Dark Souls. If, they made turn if Dark Souls was turn-based, I might play it. I'm not even... <laughs> yeah, that's your answer. If Dark Souls was like a tactical RPG, turn-based, I'd play that. I can only be so angry at a time. Or if right it was now. just like a boss, yeah, like a, like a like a like a yeah, like a boss rush kind of tactical RPG, like the match was just you fight this one boss. Yeah, I'd be into that. I would say that the 3D Fallout games probably qualify too. Yeah, they're, they're very bad shooters. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and like that, they're taking oh, it even further away from that. Like Fallout 76 looks like. Almost taking like the Mass Effect route of pulling more and more RPG stuff away from it till you're just running around shooting crap and just isn't as satisfying to me. Like I still, the first Mass Effect game is my favorite. I'm oh, gonna still say that it might be. You know, yes, I mean that's the, a the, wrong. I mean, the choice, real answer is still they're all bad. That's the real answer. <laughs> but even amongst that, I don't know. If I, I could. I don't know, but maybe because then like what? I, yeah, I don't know. It's too much. Hold on, I'm gonna fight this bunny thing. Uh, but Dark Souls, make that turn based. I'd maybe play it. No, you wouldn't. No, I would. It's the, it's the combat in Dark Souls that's bad. It's the it's Wait, the the hell is that little sperm ghost? Yeah, like what's bad about Dark Souls is the combat. So if they completely changed it, I would maybe be into it. What the hell are you? Wow, is it like killing a time experience? Uh, let's find out. No, I can't even attack it. And he disappeared. I think this thing was in like the opening cutscene too, and I have no idea what it is. Got a little bit of mystery. Yeah. But let's fight a bunny corn. Fuck, that's a carrot. Or it looks ah, like a carrot. Those look like the fucking brutals from uh, Mario Odyssey. It, Japan has a whole kind of rabbit culture. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. a whole, uh, like, you know, we, I say we, like the, the weird Western thing of, hey, the moon's made of cheese. It's like, no, the moon has m rabbits on it and they yeah. make mochi. Yeah. So that's kind of their thing. So. All right. Which I believe is also why I just died. Awesome. Nice. Wiped uh, out. No, you just wiped out. You just all tuckered. You just got to turn in for the day. Yeah. But uh, actually, that the whole uh, mochi rabbit moon thing might be why Sailor Moon, her name is Usagi, which is bunny. Hmm. Also her hair. So a lot of different things. Latest save. And I'm going to lose coins. I don't care. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Because also, like, the thing about Dragon Quest 2, yeah. something I've always respected about JRPGs is this notion of, like, oh, 
if it's too hard, you can just grind it out. It's just a matter of time. Like, you, it's not, there's never going to be something certain, there's never going to be something that you can't surmount because you're just not good enough. Like, if you just put in enough time, you can get over anything. Which is not the case with a lot of old games. You, like, yeah, because so. it's, you know, do, are you building your skills or your characters? Yeah, or even to be, you need to get to the point where just the numbers are just so overwhelmingly on your side, also. Yeah. You know, you don't have to worry about just like, I just can't do this platforming sequence or something. Though you can kind of grind out in Dark Souls, at least to an extent. Too. Yeah, but the combat is bad. I'm, it's bad. It's like, no, it's, it's obnoxious. It's like purposefully, it like fetishizes the fact that you don't, you can't do I can say want. that about Monster Hunter. I'm not going to say that about they're Dark bad Souls. In the, they're bad in the precisely the same way. <laughs> no, they're, the, the they're fact, subtly the, different. The fact, and I blame Dark Souls for priming people to be willing to accept Monster Hunter again. Like, the, <laughs> like, no, the reason Monster Hunter World was able to make, was able to be the big thing it was that people were totally primed to give it another shot because they, they were playing Dark Souls. That's totally the A to B to C there. And, you know, it's, it's a great game, too. So, hey. <laughs> so Monster Hunter World's great. And uh, the Switch version of Dark Souls comes out next month. Yeah, and I've actually been kind of playing the Switch version of Monster Hunter, Generations Ultimate. Oh, and yeah. it is, um, going back to it after World, it's like, okay, yeah, I feel the jank here, but still, it's good because I like Monster Hunter and shut up. Question. It was actually a comment. Uh, Tony's said that in the, yeah, okay. in, the, in the settings, you can turn off free movement in battle, uh, and that and being able to move in between turns serves absolutely no function. Plus, you get better camera angles that way; they're more dynamic. So, well, why even have them? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Tony yeah. Why have that? So, yeah, Tony. Obviously, Tony reviewed the game. He's played a lot more than we have. You should read his review. Um, so, okay. So, okay, the yeah. fact that there's no reason for the free movement is completely baffling. Now, that reminds me of you ever played the last story on Wii? No. There was a thing, you could choose to either have it be just press the button to do attacks or just auto attack. And like, well then, there, but there was like, there was no point to not auto attack. Because then if that's going to yeah. go as often as you can go. So then, yeah, it was just, but like, but I feel like they're like, oh, we want people to feel like they're doing something. Yep. So here's the fixed end camera version. So I can't move around. There's no difference. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Now I'm just completely baffled. Because what, what's the point of moving around? I mean, maybe to make it look. If you didn't, if you didn't want these camera cuts, if you want to look more seamless, I guess. Sure. But yeah, this looks way better. I mean, same. I'm actually healing now. So how's the cake? Uh, it's it? just a lot. It's very it's sweet. A lot and of I'm it. Also, I plan on getting uh, sorbet after this, so I don't want to just palate cleanser. Well, I was planning <laughs> on that before this cake arrived. But I still want to do yeah, that. Yeah, because we weren't expecting the cake. We were just expecting something. Yeah, and it turned out to be a cake. I knew it was going to be edible, but... Um, so, just, yeah, I don't want to overload on sugar before that. Yeah. It's not quite the right type of edible. No. Medicinal herb. Hmm. That'd be cool. I liked um, also your play... Um, it was a DSI War Dragon Quest game. It was like a little tactics game. Dragon Quest remember. Wars or something. Maybe? It was pretty good. It was almost like into the... Not, it was like... It was like always like a like a three by three grid. It was kind of like chess. Almost. Oh yeah, I kind of remember that one. Yeah, that's pretty good. They should put that out on something again. But what they should do is make an advance wars or called switch wars. Do you call freaking whatever? You know what though? I was like, I mean, they should, but Into the Breach has totally made me not care anymore. I think they're two very different feeling games. Like okay. I think Advance Wars is like its own specific thing that we might get it with uh, War Group. When was that game supposed to come? Oh out? yeah, that's uh, yeah. I think it's in the year now. That's been pushed back a few times. Yep. I mean, I mean, I mean, I played that game Tiny Metal also. That's very much Advance oh, Wars. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, like I just don't like Fire Emblem. I mean, I like Fire Emblem, but like, that's not entirely. I, I there's other there's some Fire Emblem that I put up with to get to the combat that I want. Whereas yeah. Into the Breach is just the combat that I want. No, that's fair. So. But also, like you know, take take a break from the Fire Emblem, make some Advance Wars. It's making too much money for them. I it's know. Too, it's, I know. It's, 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 it's making so much money and giving them more ways to fill up the Smash roster. And it's also the most. It's Nintendo Ed's most anime. It's the yeah. All their most pandering anime stuff they do through that. Tharja. Yeah. Or even having like a mobile gotcha game, you know, mm. where you can win. Making a, <laughs> making a Dynasty Warriors game. Mm. All those stupid theme songs. Even just the design of the characters and some of the, even the ones that, yeah. yeah. You know. I wasn't super sold on that Spire Moon Switch trailer. Yeah. Not even wrong. Yeah. But I will say, ever since they took out Permadeath, those games have finally been playable. So that's good. Yeah. I mean, I... You know, no, I'm not even gonna, like, Permadeath is the single worst video game yeah. mechanic. Fright Bulb. <laughs> I 
Oh, this thing's gonna... Yeah, this thing's hit hard, and also, it's... Is that diplomatic? No, it's, it's like a vegetable or something. Okay. I'm, that's a Mr. Popo-looking vegetable. Yeah, but that's, that's enough context there. Mm. Speaking of which, you play the Mega Man 11 demo? No. Uh, they put out a demo for that on Switch last night. Oh, cool. I tried um, it at uh, E3. and you know, Was it, was it Block me... Man? That's the... No, it I, might have been. I forget. Um, it's the guy where you have to like, shoot out bricks that are in your way. There's a conveyor belt sequence with bricks. Yeah, I think, uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. And people were saying, it's, it, to bring it all the way back, people were saying it was like Mega Man Powered Up, which famously featured Oil Man. Right? Oof, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh... I, I love... I, there really should just be, like... Hammer yeah. hoods hate those things, by the way. They're not, they don't get along. You, you're saying? I don't know where I'm going with it. I'm completely in the weeds now. Uh, yeah, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. We should, at some point, just try to make a list of the top video game characters whose c palettes had to be changed for Western release. Mm. Like Jinx. Yeah. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be a thing already. Oh yeah, but is that one of our things already? No, no, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have the list of the best black Nintendo characters, mm -hmm. um, which has like doubled over the last year and a half. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that was it. Grow back in February, so yeah. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was it was kind of a response to that. Yeah. yeah. Twintel is still great. Yeah, Marina and Reggie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do we have any questions? Because. I mean, we can, you know, we can go for like 40 minutes. I and mean, we got a fair amount of questions. Yeah. Here's another thing. So is this better than Final Fantasy XV? <laughs> I mean, they made it in like a respectable amount of time. They got it out. It's... You know, this game is a cruel cumber, so I'm going to say yes. Yeah, I mean, it's probably more cohesive. Mm -hmm. Although the better question is, is it better than Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition? Mm -hmm. You see that? That's coming out on everything now. You're right. Yeah. I mean, but also Prompto's not in this game, so that's a, that's a huge mm. uh, knock against it. Put Prompto in Smash. I know. I don't, I, I don't hate looking at this game, so mm. question. Or yeah. So wait, they're releasing the mobile version of Final Fantasy XV back on the console? Okay. Yeah, because the mobile version was episodic, <laughs> so <laughs> it's the whole game. Buddy, let me tell you about, <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, let me tell you about the Kingdom Hearts series. Oh, boy. Coded? Recoded. Yeah. I was pissed. <laughs> and let's not forget th like 385 Days Over 2, which was, I guess they just said, okay, screw it, just here's a, here's a two-hour movie of what yes. you missed in the I game. I was going to say, yeah, I thought that that was a re-release of that game. Like, oh, that was cool. How did they, how did they take the, the 3DS, the DS stuff, how they put that on console, and they didn't. They just gave you the cutscenes. <laughs> I was pissed at that. God. What's a worse experience, watching Iron Fist or spending the exact same amount of time catching up on the Kingdom Hearts series? You know, I was like, oh, okay, at least these are dumb, but at least they're doing a good job sort of archiving the games. But they yeah. weren't. They were just archiving their dumb cutscenes. You know, because you need to understand what the hell is going on, because the catching up to Kingdom Hearts 3, unless there is a four-hour movie at the beginning of that game... Mm -hmm. No one's going to have any idea what the hell's going on. No. The birth by sleep stuff with Ventus and Vanitas and the, you know, evil dude is one of the hero dudes, corpse bodies, and they're all ghosts, and also there's time travel maybe. Where's Mickey? And the Keyblade was built out of the Greek Kai Blade. Where's Mickey Mouse? What's he up to? Why isn't he helping? He's a soulless monster dictator. Ew. Maybe? Anyway. I can't wait till that comes out. It's point is, so Dragon stupid. Quest, another point in Dragon Quest's favor is that his, it has managed to sort of keep itself separate from all that. There's not this labyrinthine Dragon Quest lore to keep track of. It's just... But that also makes it kind of weird because, like, that's a huge missed opportunity to not put, like, a little bit of Dragon Quest stuff in Kingdom Hearts. But instead, they just, you know... Uh, is Miyazaki, right? Like, different Miyazaki. Not Miyazaki. Um, um, Nomura. Nomura, Yeah. yeah. Like, Nomura just got so far up his own ass with his dumb, not Final Fantasy or Disney bullshit. Of, right. Hey, here's a story that makes no sense spread across 15 game generations. Because they put World Ends With You characters in there, too. I'm looking forward to World Ends With You on the Switch. Yeah, same. I'm going to play that. That's the only good Nomura thing. A uh, question. So we have the Spyro cake, but when does the actual game get here? Like in two months? Yeah, it's the time of November. Yeah. So. so great timing. Yeah. So yeah, we have a hands-on with it, but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah um, the actual game's in November now. It was because like, they also it was gonna be on like multiple discs or like the disc only had the first game, you had to download the other two or something. 
Yeah, well, that's kind of, uh, that's like, like Capcom's done that with all their legacy collections of like, hey, here's the first game on a card. Yeah. The second half you got to download, which yeah. is... But, even on, but like even on like other consoles too, mm -hmm. like you can't fit all three Spyro remasters on a, like a 50 gig Blu-ray or whatever. It is kind of weird. Yeah. But um, but yeah, that World Two D remake, I'm I'm gonna play that too. That yeah, it's really good. Can't wait to go back to uh, you know the Shibuya Underground and fight the most anime ass characters ever made. But it's not just anime to me. The it's it has, an, it has an art style beyond just being anime. It is, it is so, like, hyper-anime of it is, this is anime-stylized Shibuya fashion. Right, but the, I, the fact that it's, uh, that it's a specific... It's triple anime. Yeah, but the fact that it's a specific region, <laughs> it, uh, to me, I can, it very, I can feel that it's a certain region and it's kind of customs and style, you know what yeah. I mean? It doesn't feel generic to me, the way a lot of anime does. Oh, yeah, it isn't generic, yeah. because it's so, like, precisely that yes. most anime-ass thing. That specificity is what appeals to it to me. Same thing with Splatoon. Yeah. I mean, my go-to, when I talk about Splatoon, I say it's the War Ends With You meets SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> <laughs> that, so. Wow, that actually is really, really apt. Yeah. I don't think I have anything else to say about Dragon Quest, because we haven't said a lot about Dragon Quest at all. We've been talking about other crap. Yeah, we've been playing, we've been looking at it. You know, yeah. We've fought some slime. It's pretty. Oh. You know, I'm in yeah. a town. I mean, it, could be, it could be an earlier This scene. is Heliodor. Hey, Puddle! <laughs> this is already better than Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, how good is this Puddle? <laughs> Check it out. I mean, it's not, there's no physics to it, but you know, still, this is way better than Spider-Man now. Can Check out any, that puzzle. Can we go into these houses? Puddle. I want to see some of this good food. Uh, no, I don't think this game has very good food. No, I mean, it's good looking food. I mean, good looking, I mean, I don't. No, I mean, I've heard. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe not in this town. Maybe it's like one of the fancy towns. Sure, let's. Break in. Break the windows. Uh, I, I hate that, like, okay, what do you think is stupider? Being able to go into, like, a one-room house and, like, talk to a guy who says nothing or have every door just closed? I don't know. It's all video games, so it's all bad. Um, Are video games as bad as anime now? Ah, uh, no, anime is still worse. Okay. What about this anime video game? Depends. I mean, depends on which. I was gonna play. If we didn't do this, I was gonna also suggest we do Blade Strangers, which is a very good fighting game despite being extremely anime. Yep. Oh, let's look at this. Hold on. Get a little closer. Yeah, like seeds and junk. That was kind of sure. good. Yeah. Look at that. Look at those nuts. The, right. That's yeah. what that is. Sure. Yeah. I mean, beans maybe, and yeah, bird seed. Um, I'm thinking it's maybe some um, quinoa. Sure. <laughs> no, no. The SJWs ruined Dragon Quest. Oh, no, because I'm not playing a female character. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Then oh, the series would be ruined. Yeah, that's some bit of spice. I know the Dragon Quest guy. He's got some spicy takes. I know about some stuff. Which one? What? Uzi Hori. Oh, right. what was the spicy stuff? I, uh, I think he's got some kind of not great political takes. Yeah, I can see that. You know, very much in line with sort of, you know, the right... Japan has a kind of very nasty right-wing contingent. Yeah, it's... Uh, so. Yeah. There are certainly culture, wanna, cultural wanna, differences, let us say. I don't want to speak out of turn. Right. That's, that's inaccurate, so... I don't want to... I, uh, yeah, it would be bad. It would be bad. It would be bad to say the thing I think he said if he didn't, <laughs> if he didn't say it. It'd be really bad. Could be lost in translation. Yeah, or it could be what was whispered at the end of Lost in Translation. Oh, Hail Hydra. Mm. We don't have any more questions, do we? No. Okay. Right. I mean, it's been like forty-five minutes. That's like a pretty good. Yeah. Time, let's so, just yeah. end looking at this bayonetta boss. Sure, yeah. I mean, you're talking about the Luminary, Lumen Sages, Umber Witches, all that. Yeah, yeah. That, that is an angel. That is, I don't remember any of the angel names, but that's totally an angel. Cool. So that's Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah. That yeah. is this is a Spyro kick, and I will. Kick. This is Jordan. Now, and can we talk about next week? Or are we not going to talk to you that uh, yet? Probably not yet. Okay, so tune in next week, maybe a little earlier. Some stuff, cool stuff might be happening. Possibly. We'll, we'll share more about. Um, yeah, Dragon Quest Eleven. It's out on PS4 and PC right now. A Switch version. You know, they said as much is still happening. Um, so that'd be nice. Yeah. Um, it's been Spyro the Dragons. Let's just can we get here? I'm just gonna walk up to the camp. I'm just going to. Oh, it's out of focus. It's Spyro the Dragons' the severed head.
Yeah, I mean, whatever. Yeah.